Hey babies, what's up my darling MVPs, how are you all doing? Welcome back to Sail with Mimi Shosley Mimi where you get a gist. I see they do waiting, I see they hurt. Of course you know there's no sleeping on a bicycle on this channel, if snooze you do what? You lose. Are you yet to subscribe to this channel? Or are you still sitting on a fat long thing? Kindly pause right there, subscribe and make sure you turn on the notification bell. If not, tell me, how do you want to get the gist brewing from the cooking pot? Like, how do you want to get the gist? I see the heart. So, guys, I would advise you watch this video to the very end because I really want to get your say in all of this happening, yeah? And there is something someone said. I want to know how true that is, okay? When we get there, you would know because I would ask that question. I would throw it out because I cannot remember hearing such coming from CC in the house okay so i would like you to tell me meanwhile first off yesterday i shared with you all how do you got a wheelchair for someone but it may seem as though that was not the only thing she did as um somebody said my deepest gratitude to artificial doing for your generous donation towards our children's fees your kindness and support ensures these 35 students have opportunity for quality education okay quality education and prevents dropouts may god continue to prosper you or more when i saw this like i feel so cool like i'm like oh my words don't you just elated my spirits this is so sweet to see don't you solar david may the good lord continue to bless you all you lay your hands on would definitely prosper for remembering to put smiles on people's face may god bless you and then coming from tunes omg this made me so emotional god bless you doing it amen to that amen you imagine students who could not pay their school fees and she did that anyways guys i will not be wasting time let's enter the gist as the heart because this is actually a long gist between mercy and cc which i would love to hear you say at the end of it all right first off there's been a whole lot of call out on cc here yeah? but first let's read what zia has to say I was thinking CC has grown, but no. Imagine packing all Mercy's haters as newfound friends. Then all they sit down and talk about is Mercy. Then they send their fans to start cooking nonsense just for rivalry. 100 housemates against just one Mercy, and she keeps defeating them. So the mercenaries hear one or two again, you know, on Mercy's name, okay? And they are like coming for CC seriously. How did this ever start up? How they come up with all of this? What they heard and how they heard it? It is up to them. But the thing is, the drags, they, they are dragging CC and they are coming for CC for choosing, you know, housemates who are not in good times that everybody CC is close to. Are people who are close to who are no longer who are not friends with mercy you know anybody that is cool with mercy you would not see that person with cc that is what um the mercenaries are coming for you know and not just the mercenaries alone i think some netizens who are not mercenaries i will i don't know their fan bases but i think it is not just the mercenaries alone you know as they are coming from cc but i would love to hear your saying all of this we have not really gotten to some other parts um noni said some people are actually that way they intentionally make friends with people who are not cool with you but the sweet feeling is just doesn't last it just doesn't last okay the very essence of the friendship is fleeting and ephemeral and then they said like every single one of her new friends are those that have sworn to hurt mercy this tells a lot about her and then Miss AK lawyer said, okay, obviously I said they are the mercenaries. I thought she has changed. I wanted to like her so bad in the house, but it wasn't just me. She is wicked and immature. Now, if you're listening to this right now, I would love your honest, you know, perception about this. Especially, I would even enjoy it more if you're not a mercenary or a Spartan. If you're a neutral on in another fan base, or if you're in either of these fan bases and you are not, starship does not declare your sense of reason. I would love to hear from you. Do you think CC is actually doing some of this friendship on purpose about mercy? Coming from Ugo, I wanted to like her. Okay, I've read this. I've read this. Okay. Okay, I wanted to like her so bad in the house, but sometimes she was always talking about people and it was stressful. I won't even lie. 
Hmm. Exactly. She even says she and her management talk about Alex every time. Like, let it go. Aaron said, with her rivalry, Cece is gone. She has nothing going for her. Give her six months, she will be forgotten. Meanwhile, talking about that of management, yeah, I heard her a, lo a whole lot of times saying some things about management said this, management said that. You know, I was like, ah, this management said they must be toxico and they are not helping this girl at all. Everything at the end of the day boils down to jealousy and envy. That is why mercy haters became her besties. No normal person would do that unless you are pushed by jealousy. Mercy is bigger than all of them combined together. And then Zia said on point. So mercenaries, you guys are coming for CC back to back like this, okay? Now the question is, in your innermost heart, even if you're a mercenary, do you think CC did that on purpose? Maybe getting close to I think the major reason is EK to start with. The major reason is EK. Now, this person now replied and said, CC was and is close to EK, Angel and Venita than she is with Mercy. Secondly, Mercy is nothing to CC. CC don't owe her any sort of loyalty or whatsoever. Okay. Mer Before Mercy started seeing CC as a perfect sister, CC already formed her bonds with her people. Rest. Do you accept this notion, guys? Because the argument don't too much. Let's settle this thing once and for all. Be meanwhile, if you ask me, I do not think Cece and Mercy has any ish. Okay? But just that, everybody must not be close. And I do not think Cece and Mercy would have been so close. It was at the end. You know that finale time? They started bonding more close. Of course, they, uh, they, were, they were less housemates. And the two were bonding more cl closer than even Baye. If you ask me... Mercy is actually closer to Baye than even she is to Sissy. Despite Ile Baye has her own thing that is making Mercy angry sometimes. You know, Zia said, Mercy collected Pere from Sissy, the Sissy. Guys, don't be smart pantal for the mercenaries and the Spartans. <laughs> Especially the mercenaries carry this thing for her. So they shared a video. They shared a video of um Sissy countless videos of cc you know ranting and shouting we all know whom cc is now and how she can be they even share that of um double wahala season as you can see the video of toby below they shared it where cc was shouting ranting even coming for alex during that time how cc came for pere they were sharing shouting it because of why they said why are people uh, the mercenaries carrying it on their head should be mercy collected um pere from cc hence they've come and be to prove they were like oh is this the pere mercy collected from cc but do not forget that pere from the beginning of the show the all-star season was not getting closer to cc rather she was he was getting closer to alex so do not put mercy there mercy actually came through at the end of the show do not forget in finale week we saw Percy ship that we started that we started asking questions this one is it shipping or they are just joking you understand uh -huh. so Mercy don't get anything to do with that I was actually a fan of this girl during her set and I thought Toby and Mamba were the problem but after five years coming back to this I said no and never not me I don't have energy for this character Please continue dragging those spartacus. Hi, <laughs> some people have violence at five and six. What is the, what is the essence of the drag right now? Left for me, you know. If I talk, when I go say, ah, oh, she's this person's fan. She's not this person's fan. That one concern now. It will never stop me from saying what I think it is right. If you ask me, mm, it is ignore button, right? Let you anybody your faith get closer to. Fine. Anybody your faith do not get close to. Fine. Trying to look for the A to Z why everything is happening. To me, I feel in no jig. That is just it. Coming from um Abi Hawa, how how be market for CC again? See Toby today. See Pere now. So so big things they happen to for Pere. His movie is launching very soon. President invited him. Businessmen contacting him. Bitalifi only fighting Sabi. She was a lot. Let's. It's Toby laughing for me, bitter leave. So they're just making jest of CC, making mockery, posting the video, wahala, you know. And then <laughs> Malton Badi said, Not even my wicked uncle, I go allow and marry CC. Even wicked people deserve better. Ha! Does it reach like that? They could already calm down. No, oh, hey. Just imagine the way she is screaming as if she can beat Pere. Some girls, Sha, when would they ever allow mercy to rest? Now, this is the thing, yeah. That video brought back memories for them and they started saying it as if the thing just happened today, today, you know. Sissy, during her season. Ah! 
Oh my, I was, I never as I was clamoring for Miracle to win in as much as Miracle was not my fave. My fave was um Bam Bam and Teddy. I like them, but I know they are not gonna win. But I was rooting for Miracle to win. That time that Miracle won, you needed to see the shout because of Sissy's attitude in the house then, you know. Uh, patient said imagine the way she talks who can want to marry this kind of woman i beg even even gogo recognized her urban jcc and they were expecting Pere and cross to ship with her clown oh mom man this girl i can't deal but all these call are just for one person ha they could not allow her breathe so they could not allow cc breathe it is just too much Proudly, Patriot said, very bitter girl. Pere choose peace and happiness. Mercy over a, a bitter dwarf. Now, was Fear what? You supposed to tag her. As in, you guys should take it easy. It's just too much. You should just take it easy on Cynthia and I beg you. By the way, we all have our flaws, right? Should we talk about how many times that girl told Pere he has no test just for calling Mercy his baby? She was too pained when it was Cruz. Only God knows how she feels right now. A jealous woman. Now, this is where the question is. Did Sissy ever tell Pere that he has no test because of her mercy? I would like to hear because I cannot remember. Did Sissy ever tell Pere, please be sincere, don't lie, I beg. If you know you cannot remember like me, just leave it. Did Sissy ever say that about mercy? That she has no test. As per se, mercy now waiting. Hey, wahala. So please, I would like to hear from you guys. Did she ever say that? Anyways, coming from Mame Afeba. All this no concern me. As long as Ilebaye is wearing <clears throat> paces and not sleeping with married men for a little only goshi bag. I am happy she is happy. Wahala. Baye try. Make una they calm down. Oh. So yeah, it has been a whole lot of drags on CC. And I thought it wise to bring it to you all here. To give me your two cents. Okay. In all of this dragging. If there is one thing I could pick out. Is that one of um her team. She's always talking about her team. So I should avoid this person. Adekule was even one of them. And my team told me about this person. My team no even want me to talk to. You know team, team. I'm like, oh, these girls teams are really not helping her matter. But the sweetest thing right now is that she came out of the all stars um season and now she has made new friends but now making the new friends people are saying is because of um mercy they are mercy's hater so guys tell me what you think about all of these drags on cc in the comment section thank you so much for always sailing with me i'll see you guys later and if there is anything make sure you always put smile on that pretty face of yours because life is too small for you to be carrying heavy hearts around <laughs> bye for now guys